I am the worst with chopsticks. How am I so bad with chopsticks, guys? I literally can't pick up the ramen. I don't want to be that person and ask for a fork because that's embarrassing. Hi guys, so I'm here at the Bally's Bazaar shops and it's um, this really cute little shopping area. They have a lot of different stores. They have some really good food stalls. I know it's kind of controversial. A lot of people really hated this place when it opened, but personally, I actually really enjoy it. And they have something that I've been looking for on the strip that I think has been missing, and that's a good ramen shop. So I'm here outside of Ramen Ya, and they claim to have the best ramen in Las Vegas, which is a pretty bold claim. But let's go on in, I'll show you guys the menu, and then we'll get some ramen. Okay guys, so I'm here inside of Ramen Ya, and it is such a cute restaurant. It's very small, so there's not a lot of tables, but it definitely has um, there a little bit of a Japanese style to the decor, and they do have some really cool drinks. They have this Japanese green tea that I got, um, and of course the ramen. So I'll put a link for the restaurant down below. They also have quite a few options on the menu for ramen. They also have things if you're not into ramen. They do have curries and they have a couple, of, they have rice bowls. Um, so if you're not really in the mood for ramen, but you're looking for something that's hearty and delicious, maybe try out their curry or the rice bowl. Everything on the menu honestly looks great. But I ended up getting the shoyu ramen with shashu, which is pork. So I will show you guys that as soon as it comes in. And I, oh, and I also got some gyoza because you got to try the gyoza, right? All right. So the gyoza just arrived and it comes with five pieces and it was $6. So very good deal considering you're on the middle of the strip. And very cute presentation. Okay, let's try the gyoza first. It has chicken and pork in it. And it does come with like a little dipping sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It is cooked so well. The meat is well seasoned. The outside of the wrapper is nice and golden and crispy, crunchy, just the way I like it. And I mean, look at the inside of this thing. That is a good gyoza. Mm. Keep on eating. Dip it in the sauce again. Here we gyoza again. Sorry, here come my bad puns. <laughs> ramen just arrived. Let me show you the show you. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, show you ramen is a soy sauce based broth. So it's usually clear, brownish, and salty. <laughs> All things that sound good. And you can actually see in here the oil. So let's give the broth a try first. That is a really good broth. Not too heavy, not greasy. It's very light, but you can definitely taste the soy flavor. Mm. That's delicious. I think I made a good choice with that. Okay, next up, let's try the shashu pork. You can see how tender it is. Mm. Mm. Oh my 
god. I think I died and went to pork heaven. It soaks up the flavor of the broth. And then it's actually a little bit fatty. So it's really tender and very juicy. Oh my God. Can I have like 10 more pieces of this? Mm. Wow. So chashu pork means that it's been like boiled and simmered and you can definitely tell from this. It is so tender. It literally just melts in your mouth. It is amazing. I hate that I use the word amazing so much, but I just, my brain's like shutting down because it's so good. That's all I can think of is how good this is. Words are just not really coming to me at this point. Okay, and last but not least, the noodles. So these are egg noodles that they use. They do have rice noodles available if you'd like rice noodles, but I like both, so I'm just gonna go with what they normally use. Okay, here's the noodles. Looks like a good consistency. Mmm. Mmm perfectly cooked. They're soft with a little bit of chew and they have soaked up all of the brothy goodness. This was an excellent decision on my part. Good job, Kylie. <laughs> it may take me another two hours to eat this because I can't get the noodles on my chopsticks, but that's okay. My thoughts on this restaurant is that it's definitely a hidden gem here on the Strip. Ramen is one of those foods that it's like a comfort food for all occasions. <laughs> Feeling happy because you want to hand pay? Come celebrate with some ramen. Feeling sad because you blew your bankroll in the first night of your trip? That's eh, okay. Come have some ramen. <laughs> but in all seriousness, guys, this place is a real hidden gem here on the Strip. The ramen was fantastic. I mean, not even just the ramen, the gyoza was fantastic too. Their food is such good quality, and the pricing is really reasonable. The bowl of ramen you can get for like $13, $14. The gyoza was $6. I mean, you're in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip. It's perfect. It's a sit-down restaurant. They're quick. The service was friendly, and it was just felt authentic, which is something that sometimes is hard to find. So overall, guys, I would definitely recommend coming down to Ramen Yon and giving it a try. Um, I don't actually know if there's other ramen places on the Strip, but if, even if there are, I would still recommend this one. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more food and travel videos from me, make sure that you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.